Tell me what this is that you have behind you here in the. Uh, this is a macro base station, so it's an LTE base station. Um, Nokia is going to sell to customers, and this is a four-generation small cell system. So usually, these devices are um, providing entrance to the operator network. So. We have here the base station, and there's a radio head connected to an antenna, and subscribers are connecting to that system to access the demand for Okay, great. So as we move further into 4G and LTE networks, are we getting more secure or less secure? Yeah, I mean, we're moving to an LTE network, the whole, infrastructure, the whole underlying infrastructure is based on IP. On one side, that's a big advantage for the operator as it's easy to implement. On the other side, this is introducing all the well-known security threats and challenges you know from IP-based networks, which are denial of service attacks, denial attacks. Um, all those threats can occur in an LTE network as well. And we see indeed that operators are working on that and trying to protect their own infrastructure as well as their subscribers from these kinds of threats. Okay. And then what are you demonstrating? Yeah, I mean, what we're showing here how easy it is to hack an LTE network. All you need is this uh, small mini computer you can buy. Uh, for uh, roughly $99 on Amazon. And um, hacking an LTE network is a process which does not take even more than 20 seconds. All you need to do is you have to connect the interface from the base station to the operator network to this little mini PC. And connect the mini PC with a second cable to the base station. So now uh, the mini PC sits in between the base station and the power network and sees any kind of traffic which is getting exchanged between e B and, and operator core. And how difficult is it for someone who wants to do something bad to get access to the network? I mean, usually these de devices are deployed uh, all over the country. And uh, the main challenge is that the, the physical security of these the devices cannot be guaranteed. Because usually you will find these devices in shopping malls or stadiums or in a row of buildings. So in areas everyone could potentially access. And yes, uh, it's pretty easy to open their cabinet or open and then uh, connect to this interface. And if it comes to small sets, it should be situation gets even more worse. Because these uh, devices are deployed uh, Okay, thanks. Now, if I'm the person that put the device between the base station and the network, what can I actually do? What kind of information can I get? Okay, so you can access uh, the mini computer with a notebook because uh, we put the mini computer with a Wi-Fi card. And uh, once you are connected to the mini computer, you can see it on that screen. You can start uh, attacking the base station, the core network, and maybe serving the IMS system. You can also start intercepting user data, or you can start recording voice calls. Okay. And uh, that's what we are going to show now. Okay. Yeah. So here we have uh, LTE mobile. Mm -hmm which is connected to the base station, mm -hmm. and then we are running an operator core network in, yep. the, in the IMS system in our data center, mm -hmm. and on the, on the right side, or to my left, we have this uh, phone. And what we are going to do now is we are, we are running in 4G or in voice call over a 4G network, which is IP based, and then we start capturing this voice call. So to do that, I need to start the packet tracer. And then, of course, I need to start the phone call. So now you see that the phone is not speaking. This is simply just to line Hello, who's speaking? Uh, this is an attacker. Okay. Okay. Thanks. So you see, just a short phone call. That's more than enough. So then I can stop capturing the traffic. I can access the computer. So here you see the trace file, and I can start, uh, I can open this trace file in the packet analyzer, I can freely download from the internet, so when you see all the packets going back and forth, and I can also scan this capture uh, file for IP based voice calls, so here we see one IP voice call, and I can load this call into a media player, 
it depends what you're and wearing. I can very, very high impact, impact malware or lower impact malware. It's anywhere from 12 to 18 percent. And then uh, if you look at the I can uh, simply look at what I've got to write. Uh, the different and numbers there in the top of the and is there other information I can get? Can I get data also? Yeah, and you can also, you can intercept any kind of user data. It's not only voice call, all data which are getting exchanged between mobile and internet. And this includes both encrypted and unencrypted information. Okay, thank you. So I'm an operator and now I'm scared. How can I fix this problem? I mean, Nokia recommends to encrypt any kind of traffic exchange between the stations and one of them by using a protocol which is well known in the industry, it's IPsec. And uh, we build up a security solution to protect against this kind of threats we mentioned previously. And this component, the security solution, consists of two components. One is a central security gateway, uh, which is used to terminate the VPN tunnels uh, from, coming from the unit or from the base station, uh, and which is providing uh, protection against signal attacks and denial of service attacks. And the second component is a certificate authority, which is issuing certificates to all network identities in the network, which can then be used for authentication from base station to what's called. Okay, and you mentioned this is already well deployed within the industry? Yeah, I mean, we are claiming to be the market leader for that solution worldwide. We have more than 20 deployments with our customers. Okay, thank you.